California Democrats who dreamed too big by promising big tech its own subway system under Silicon Valley have finally found a way to pay for their multi-billion dollar debacle. Just sneak it into the COVID relief bill. Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher is here to explain what's really going on. Trace. Katie, good evening. This underground rail project in the Silicon Valley has been really in the planning stages for several years. It still has not broken ground, but that has not stopped the estimated cost of the project from rising. It was $4.6 billion back in 2018. Now it's $6.9 billion. The finish date is supposed to be 2030. By then it could be $15 billion or more. And keep in mind, they plan to use the biggest boring machine in the world to drill the tunnel uh, beneath San Jose. And experts say that comes with increased risk and cost. Plus, the San Jose Mercury News says local residents are outraged because the project is eating up a huge chunk of local sales tax revenue, money that normally goes to roads, bridges, and traffic management. And now, as you mentioned, the House Transportation Committee has put $112 million into the COVID bill to help fund the train. Con congressional Republicans, including Senator Tom Cotton, not very happy. Watch. What does mass transit in San Francisco have to do with a global pandemic? It has nothing to do with it. It only has to do with Nancy Pelosi getting an earmark for her district, which this bill does across the country. And for the record, this would not be the first federal funding for the Silicon Valley's underground train. It got $125 million back in 2019, another $100 million earlier this year. And if you're wondering what other pork might be stuffed into the COVID bill, it's got a billion dollars for racial justice for farmers, 200 million for library services, and 10 million for Native American language preservation, just to name a few. Katie. All right. Trace Gallagher, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.